vote for a safe world or a dangerous world? I vote for a safe world, of course. Why didn't it? It doesn't work like that. Everyone gets to vote and the one with the most votes gets picked. You have to convince everyone to vote for a safe world. Because if this world ends, it's all your fault. Why my fault? Because it's all in your hands. Okay, this should be easy. Surely everyone wants to live, right? No one really wants this world to end. Okay, positive thinking. You can do this. Jake, you have lots of girlfriends, right? Please help me. Help you with what? Tell them to vote for a safe world. I only need a hundred people to vote. Okay, fine. I'll help you. Okay, hurry up, go. I didn't mean now. I have basketball. Can't practice. you just cancel? This is really important. All right, fine. I'll cancel. Yay! Thank you. Hey, Emma, will you tell everyone to vote for a safe world? Why should I help you? She's my friend. Hey, Jake. Okay, if she's your friend, I'll vote for a safe world now. Tell your friends too. Yes, of course. Girls, vote for a safe world. Thank you so much. Ew, don't touch me. I'm only doing this for Jake. Jake, thank you so much. Because of you, I've got 50 votes in already. Why aren't you saying anything? I've helped you enough. I really need to get to basketball practice. Bye. Wait, can I join you at basketball practice? I can just ask all your friends to vote for a safe world. There's going to be lots of people there, right? Okay, just hurry up. Guys, please help me vote for a safe world so we can all live. I'll only vote if you become my girlfriend. Okay, uh, vote first, then I'll answer. It don't work like that. Answer first, then I'll vote. Vote for a safe world, otherwise I'll get you kicked out of this basketball team. Uh, yes, Captain, I'll vote for a safe world now. That's it, we've all voted for a safe world. Thank you, guys. Um, I'll treat you with some water bottles. Hey, um, can I please have 50 water bottles? Yes, of course. Wait, why is there only 99 people who voted? I swear there was like... More than a hundred people who voted. Here's your drinks. I put them in a box so it's easier to carry. Thank you. Oh yeah, miss. Can you please help me vote for a safe world? Yes, of course. Thank you. Wait, how come the number didn't change? It's stuck at 99%. Is everything okay? Yes, miss. Everything's fine. Thanks for the water. I'll pay you later. Bye. Hey, Jake, I'm curious. You also voted for a safe world, right? Oh, yeah, that's right. He helped me get a lot of people vote for a safe world, but he never voted himself. Jake, please help me vote for a safe world. I only need one more person to vote. I can't, Amara. Can't? Why? It's because I... Because I'm not from this world. Huh? Not from this world? Then where are you from? I'm from space. <laughs> You're joking, right? No, I'm being serious. Why isn't anyone saying anything? We're all shocked like you, Amara. We're not going to believe you, Jake, until you show us your spaceship. Spaceship? Why is everyone digging with their shovels? Because we're helping Jake hide his spaceship. Jake, say something! Do you still want to be friends with me, even though I'm not from this world? Yes, of course I do. I don't care where you're from. Okay, if so, come with me. I want to show you my spaceship. Here it is. Huh? This is your spaceship? But it's so small, how do you even fit in there? Oh, there's plenty of space, trust me. Hey you guys, you're high school kids, aren't you? What are you doing in school at this time? That's the school security, we need to hurry up and cover your spaceship. Yes, please help me. Thank you guys so much for the help. Hey Jake, can I ask you something? Yeah. Why did you come to this world, since, you know, you're not from here? Because there's nothing in my world. I like it here more. And I never expected to make any friends, but now I feel like I belong oh, here. Oh, cool. Mom, there's already a hundred people who voted for a safe world, but why is it stuck on 99%? That's because the last 1% has to be voted by someone who's not from this world. But why? Because the votes are very important. <sighs> okay, Mom, I'll be right back. I know exactly what to do. Hey Jake, my mum said the last 1% had to be voted by someone who's not from this world, so can you vote please? Amara, I told you, I really can't. <sighs> Why not? If you don't vote, I don't want to be friends with you anymore. Uh, okay, okay, I'll vote for a safe world. <sighs> See? Easy. It's not about it being easy. If I vote for your world, my world will be destroyed forever. Wait, really? Yeah, this is all your fault. I'm just joking, look at your face. <laughs> Don't worry, this whole time, no matter what people voted for, both of our worlds will still be safe. As long as no one voted for the dangerous world, of course. You have to get class A. It will make our family very valuable. Okay, I'm gonna check now. Three, two, one. Wow, I got class C, mom. Oh no, that's not good. 
What's wrong? Hurry up, I have to fake your class before you embarrass our family. Okay, mom. Hopefully no one will know and it will look like you got class A. What class are you in, Emily? I'm in class C. It's true that poor people like us are never appreciated. Oh, I'm sorry, but I'm in class A. Huh? How come? I don't know. I was also surprised this morning. Yeah, if that's the case, we'll be in separate classes. Emily said you got class A. Yeah, that's right. Nice to meet you all. Where does your parents work? Uh, oh my gosh, my parents don't own a company. What the heck, Jake? Maybe she doesn't want to say it. Yeah, that's right. I don't want to say. Your parents must be very important. Okay, class, this is our first lesson. Please take out your cell phone. Cell phone? I only brought a paper and a pen. That can't be right. Everyone got cell phones when they received the letter A. Oh, right. Sorry, sir. Um, mine broke. It's okay, sir. I can share mine with Amara. Okay, if you don't mind. You're lucky I saved you. <sighs> yes, thank you so much. Let's go to the canteen. I'm really hungry. Why are you going to the canteen? Our food is delivered to the school by a helicopter. A helicopter? And there it is. The food's already here. Mom? Hey, honey, I came to bring you some food. I'm so scared. If I get caught, they'll put me in prison. Calm down. Everything is safe and under control. You just have to go with the flow. Okay, if you say so. Class A, please make your way to the dining room. I have to go, Mom. I was looking for your food, but your name wasn't there. Oh, don't worry. I already got it. I think the teacher's assumptions were true. What assumption? You're not really at Class A, are you? <laughs> I'm just joking. Why are you so scared? Now that you've finished eating, we're going to bring in all your parents, so please be nice to everyone. Why are you bringing our parents, sir? So everyone can get to know each other better. I can't wait to meet your parents, Amara. Me too. They must be really important. Everyone's parents are here except Amara's. Where are your parents? Um, maybe they're busy. You look suspicious. I want you to erase the letter on your neck. But my class is still loading. What if I remove it and nothing shows? Okay, I'll remove it now, sir. Honey, wait! Huh? My mom's here. That means I don't need to remove my class mark, right? Yes, you're really lucky she showed up. Your mom is so cool. Please introduce us. Yes, I've never met or seen your mom before. Later, okay? I want to talk to my mom first. Mom, why is my class loading? That's because you were told to remove your letter by the teacher. I'm going to be so embarrassed if I don't get a class. Don't worry, honey. All you have to do is fake a class again. What? Turns out I've went up a class. I'm in class B now. You still need to fake it so you don't embarrass our family. Amara, what are you doing in the toilet? You've taken so um, long. My stomach hurts. By the way, did you get your dress for tonight? Yeah. No, you haven't. You need to go get it quickly. It's only for class A people. I'm in class A. Do you have any clothes for me? Your name is Amara. Wait a minute. Let me find it. I know it's not going to be there. Psst. Who's calling me? Over here. Mom? Here's your dress. Don't tell anyone I gave it to you. But how did you get this? Isn't it expensive? Oh, I just borrowed it off a neighbor. Okay, every girl has to be paired with a guy. Um, all of us? Yes, all those who got class A has a partner. My partner's late. Who says I'm late? Who told you to come here? If they find out we're both not in class A, we'll be finished on the spot. I'm just following what your mom told me. My mom? Yes, she paid me three million to come. Three million? Weird, right? I thought you guys were poor. I'm pretty sure you're not in class A. I am, and besides, you don't have any proof, sir. I'll continue to push you until you confess. Why are you doing this? Because I care about you. Okay, it's time to go home. You'll all be picked up with sports cars by your parents. What sport car do um, you have, Amara? I don't know, because we have too many sport cars at home. Whoa, I think I only have a Ferrari. I have a Lamborghini. I definitely don't have a sport car. Why am I even waiting here to get picked up? Let me just leave. Get in the car, honey. Mom, aren't we poor? How do you have that car? Um, maybe it's time for me to tell you a story. What story? Actually, your dad is... Wait! Is my dad still alive? Yes, I lied to you because I really hate him. Why do you look so tired? Because I am tired. I've been trying to fit in with class A for the whole day. Do you even realize how much hard work I've had to put in? Come on, honey. It's all worth it at the end. Everyone will know how valuable our family is. Okay, mom. 
Hey Amara, how are you? I'm fine. It looks like you're really happy, huh? Yes, I'm so happy because I made a new friend in class C. That should have been my class. But you must be really happy in class A, right? Yeah, of course. So happy. Anyway, I have to go now because class is about to start. All students in class A has a special talent. Please tell us your talent. My talent is singing. I've won so many international competitions. Do I even have a talent? My talent is swimming. Next week, I'm going to America for a swimming competition. What's um, your talent, Amara? It's acting. I've been in so many TV shows and movies. Okay, class, we're going to be doing yoga. Yoga? Everyone in class knows that we do yoga. Why don't you? No, I do. I just thought I heard something else. Yes, our bodies are really flexible. My body's stiff as a rock. It's your turn, Amara. Please put your feet behind your back. Wait, sir, was that the fire alarm? Thank you, Mom. You saved me again. I didn't do anything. I just came here to bring you a cell phone. Huh? You weren't responsible for the fire alarm? Nope. Okay, class. We'll be doing a test. Who doesn't have a cell phone? Why is everyone watching me? Do you not have one? No, we forgot ours at home. You're so lucky. I know you took that cell phone from school. You're stealing. <sighs> No, you can see for yourself. If I had stolen it, it would have had the school symbol, which it doesn't. I've had enough of you, young lady. Hey, you, don't speak to my daughter like that. Huh? Daughter? You're the principal's daughter? Yes, she is, and you're fired. Wait, you're my dad? Your class is S. This must be the lowest class, right? No, class S is much higher than class A. That means you're the golden child. Golden child? What does that mean? Class S is only rewarded to the smartest person in school. And that's you. You should be very proud. I wonder what my strength is. Mom, I'm going to school. Honey, what power did you get? Every time I cry, it rains. Okay, then cry now. It's been two months without rain. I can't just cry like that, Mom. You're such a useless child. Why is it so hot today? Just cry and make it rainy. Mom, you think it's that easy for me to cry? No, but it hasn't rained in over two months. Babe, I brought this for you from the canteen. Oh, just put it on my table. Okay. Um, did you need anything else? No, just leave me alone. As you wish. Why did he speak to me like that? Honey, me and your dad are going on a cruise tonight. No matter what you do, make sure you don't cry, just for tonight. Sure. Hey, babe. Sorry, but we have to break up. What? Why? How can you break up with me? We've been together for three years. Sis, why are you crying? Did you forget mom and dad are on that cruise? Calm down, it's just rain. They'll be fine. Relax, it's just rain. They'll be fine. Breaking news, a cruise ship sunk tonight as the storm keeps getting worse. A cruise sunk? The cruise ship was traveling from Dover to Spain. I hope it's not the cruise my parents are on. Sis, do you remember when mom and dad's destination was on that cruise? I don't know, why? Because there was a cruise that sunk. What did I say? This is all your fault. <sighs> Wait. Mom would normally have called by now. I'm starting to get worried. <sighs> just stop crying. Can you just shut up? You think I'm crying on purpose? Kids, school event cancelled because of heavy rain. This is all my fault. Can you just stop crying? <sighs> you don't even know what I'm going through. Yeah, and no one cares what you're going through. Mom, come on, pick up. Just accept it. Mom and dad are gone. <sighs> mom's calling. I knew it. Hello? Hello? How come you have my mom's phone and who are you? Hello? Hello? How come you have my mom's phone and who are you? We need your help. Your mom and dad aren't doing well right now. They can't talk. What do you mean? What happened? We barely survived. We had to swim three hours for the nearest island. What island is it? Hello? No, don't hang up. How am I supposed to find them now? Who was that? My parents are still alive, but they're stuck on some island and I don't know where. Listen to me. You have to stop crying, okay? That's the only way you can help them out. I can't just stop crying. I'm stressed out. Just calm down. Everything's going to be fine. Just think of a good memory. Maybe it will help. It worked. It's sunny. Okay, now let's go find your parents. How are we going to do this? 
They called you, right? We can take the phone to the police and they can locate where the call came from. Okay. So, did you find them? Yes, they're not very far away. Get the rescue boats ready. We need to get them out as soon as possible. They must be dehydrated. Mom, Dad! We're so happy to see you, honey. Here, have some water. Wait, so you're not mad at me for crying? I mean, you could have chosen another day to cry, but no, we're not mad at you. We're alive, and that's what's important. Why didn't your sister come with you? We had a fight. She blamed me for what happened. Hey, don't be mad at her. She probably just did it because she was stressed out. I'll talk to her. Sis, I'm sorry. I shouldn't have blamed you. It wasn't your fault. No, it's fine. Thanks for the apology. How are you? I see you're finally happy. Yeah, I realized that I shouldn't waste my tears on someone that never cared about me. I deserve better. That's so true. I'm glad you finally realized that. Please give me the red sign. Huh? Red? That means I'm the queen. Mom, look, I got the red mark. Mom, I got the red mark. Wow, that's great, honey. I trust you more than your sister. What? There are two red marks, right? That means there's two queens. But if there's two queens, then... Nope, no, I don't want to imagine it. I got a blue mark. I got red. What? You got red? Same as your sister? Are you sure you didn't fake it? Confess. What the heck is wrong with you, Jenny? Hey, sis. I know you faked your mark. You colored it in yourself. What? No, I got red. You're the one who faked it. It's time for you to tell the truth. Okay, keep lying. But soon, I'll find out the truth myself. Amara, admit it. Did you color it in yourself? What is wrong with you people? You don't believe me? I have the real red mark. If that's true, come with me. We have to prove that your sign is real. Let's do it. How do we prove it? Hey, I have this makeup removing tissue for you. Anyone who doesn't have a sign after trying to remove the mark off the face is a fake. Okay, I'll remove it now. See, it's still there. Mine's still there too. This is weird. We'll prove it again later. Yeah, and everyone's gonna know that my mark is real. Alright, we'll see when we prove it. I still don't believe you. You colored it in with a permanent marker, right? Uh, what the hell? There's no such thing as permanent markers. Just watch out. How is it possible that her mark didn't disappear? Hey, I have cotton and water. This will remove everything, even permanent markers. Okay. See? My color's still there. So is mine. What? I swear, I don't understand anymore. How can her sign not disappear? I told you I'm the original red mark. Okay, we're gonna have to find another way to prove it. Amara pretends to be queen when everyone knows that her sister deserves it more. Yes, I agree. She's not suitable for the role. Are you Amara? Yeah, why do you care? I just want to say something. Do you know why your sister's mark won't disappear? Why? The mark she has is no ordinary mark. Huh? What mark is it? It's a magical mark that can't be erased easily. I'm only here to find out who the real queen is. Okay, what should I do now? Hey, give her this drink. When she drinks this, her mark will disappear. Hey sis, are you ready to be embarrassed in front of everyone because your mark is fake? Haha, <laughs> very funny. Everyone knows I'm more suitable to be queen. Anyways, see you later. Anyone have any proof suggestions today? I do. So, we have to drink this. Whoever's mark disappears is a faker. Okay, I agree. Let's start now. Okay, so, because this is my drink, you'll go first, sis. Okay, I'll drink it now. Done. It's your turn now. Okay. My mark's still here. We have to wait one minute for it to work. So, how long does it take for the drink to work on her? For the drink to work, you have to wait one minute. Okay, got it. Thank you. Well, as I predicted, her mark is gone, meaning I was right all along. She faked it. Whoa, that's bad. So you're the fake one? Amara was right. No, she's lying. Please, forgive us, Queen, for doubting you. You're a liar. I'll prove it. Hey, sis, because you lied about your mark, you're going to be my assistant for a whole year and do whatever I say. White flower or red flower? This is the first time I've seen a red flower, so I'm gonna pick it. Honey, pick the white flower, please. 
But why? Our whole house is filled with white flowers. I'm kind of bored of seeing them. Our family really respects white flowers, so you can't choose anything else. Okay. Wait, don't open the plastic. Why not? Because of the smell of the flower. But I'm really curious how it smells like. No, the flower has no smell, so it's useless if you open it. Okay. Hello everyone, what flower did you pick? We all got red flowers, didn't you? No, I chose white because my mom told me to. Huh, you chose? Didn't you get it straight away? No, I got two options between white and red. You must be special in that case because no one gets to choose. I chose the white flower and it really smells good. Wait, you chose the white flower? That means I wasn't the only one who got a choice. It smells really good. Try smell it. Okay. Honey, I told you not to open the plastic. But my friend did and nothing happened. You're different. Kelly? Kelly! Kelly's barely breathing. Call an ambulance. <sighs> yes, sir. Kelly died from inhaling the white flowers. What about Amara? She also has a white flower, but she hasn't died. I haven't smelled the flower yet. My mom doesn't let me. I just noticed this white flower. It smells really good. Quickly, throw it away. Why are you acting like that? Wait, I feel dizzy. Are you okay? Amara, you have to throw that flower away now. I'm not allowed. I'm not even allowed to open it. Kelly and Jesse both died from smelling that flower. You don't want anyone else dying, do you? Hey, let me throw it for you. Mom, do you have to come with me to school? I always go alone. I have to come watch you. It turns out you threw away the flower. Yes, because my friend said it's dangerous. I told you you're different. Anyway, I picked up the flower again. Thankfully, it didn't get destroyed. Thanks. All students are expected to gather in the field now. Mom, I have to go. The teacher needs me. There's been a lot of death because of the white flowers. 20 people have died. 20? But how? We have to do a search and see which one of you has the white flower. Sir, my stomach hurts. I need to go to the toilet. Okay, hurry up. Thank God it's safe here. There's something strange about this flower. I have to prove it by smelling it. I'm really curious what it smells like. Why does it stink? Why do people say it smells good? Turns out people are just crazy. Did you smell the flower? What does it smell like? Do you want to smell it? It smells really bad. Yeah, sure. I mean, nothing happened to you, so I'm sure nothing will happen to me. Wow, it smells amazing. Wait, I feel a bit dizzy. Are you okay? Don't tell me she died. Weird. Why do people say it smells good? To me, it smells rotten. Amara, you need to get rid of that flower right now. Why do you keep telling me to get rid of it? Because it's causing danger to others. We need to burn it. Amara, honey, do not talk to that girl anymore. Mom, why do you keep following me everywhere? And now you're starting to complain about my friends too? She's your enemy, not your friend, because she chose the red flower. But why are you telling me not to be friends with her specifically? What about the others? Because she's different. That's why I'm moving you from the school, so you don't stay close to her. Don't go close to her. She has the white flower. Yes, that flower must be destroyed. No, I'll always take care of this flower and I'm not going to let you destroy it because it means a lot to my family. Amara, wait for me, please. I was told to keep my distance from you, so go away. Wait, I want to come to your house. To do what exactly? I want to give you a red flower since I know you want to do it My mom won't let you come to my house. Then you can come to my house. Um, you said we were going to your house. What is this place? This is where all the white flowers grow. The only way we can get rid of them is if you yourself pluck them all out. Why would I do that? They have a really important meaning to my family. But can't you see how many people are dying because of them? Just do the right thing so that no one else dies. Okay, fine, but after I pluck them all out, what's gonna happen? We have to burn them. Finally, all of us can live again. Long live the red flower. You're truly our savior. Amara, it's important for you to know that because of the white flower, your family was actually rulers of the world. But now, all the white flowers are destroyed and replaced with red flowers, meaning we're all safe. My soulmate will lose his sense of taste or sense of smell. I'll choose taste. Poor soulmate, he can't taste any food. I have to quickly find him so that he can taste food again. I have to make a nice drink and get all the boys to try it. You should make a drink that doesn't taste good, because if it doesn't taste good, you'll be able to find them straight away, because they'll all be making faces. Except him, because he can't taste. That's an amazing idea. 
isn't done yet. What did you put in it? I put chicken livers and some... That's enough. I don't want to hear the rest. You better hurry up and tell the boys at school to try okay. it. Okay. Hi, guys. I have a nice drink. Do you want to try it? <coughs> That's disgusting. What is this? That means none of you are my soulmate. Hi, Dave. Actually, I've liked you for a long time and I hope you say that this drink is delicious. Here, try it. Hmm, why is your reaction like that? You can't taste it, right? <laughs> what is this drink, Amara? Why does it taste so weird? Amy! What is it now? I've ordered all the boys in school to try my drink and all of them can taste it. That means my soulmate isn't in the school, right? Just be patient. You just told a few people to try it, not the whole world. You're right. Um, why is Gemma crying? It turns out that her soulmate passed away. Really? I'm getting more and more worried about my soulmate. Amara, stop it. He's fine. There's going to be a concert in our school. What concert? There's a very popular artist who's going to come to our school and sing. He's very popular? Yeah, you're coming, right? Yeah, I'll come. Maybe it will distract me a bit because I can't stop thinking about my soulmate. Just be patient. It's already so crowded, but why hasn't the artist showed up yet, sir? I heard that at every concert, he looks for his soulmate, and he's done a lot of concerts today. So he's feeling tired and fainted several times. Really? He fainted? I'm gonna go see him. No, no one's allowed in the private room. I'm so tired of waiting. There's still some people who haven't tried your drink. And since everyone's gathered here, why don't you just offer it to them? Good idea. Guys, please try my drink. No, we heard from the other students that it's disgusting and you're making everyone drink it. You're so weird. I can't believe no one wants to try my drink anymore. How am I supposed to ever find him? Huh? No entry? What room is this? <gasps> this is the artist everyone's waiting for. He looks so handsome while he's sleeping. Hey, why did you come in here? Didn't you read the sign? I'm sorry. Is that water? I'm so thirsty. No, don't drink that. <sighs> so refreshing. Uh, what does it taste like? It tastes like vomit. It's really bad. Sorry, I tried warning you. But thanks. Thanks for what? Nothing. I'll tell you later. Oh. Emma, why is there a huge line for the guy's toilet? It's because of your drink, Amara. It made everyone sick. Because of my drink? Yeah, you shouldn't have given it to them. Then who is my soulmate? It wasn't the famous guy and none of the guys I gave my drink to either. Amara, I have important news for you. What is it? The curse of the senses will disappear when you meet your soulmate. But all of the guys I gave this drink to could taste my drink. How am I supposed to know which one of them is my soulmate? You have to go and ask them. Guys, before you met me and drank from this drink that I made, could you taste anything? Yes, we've always been able to taste. Oh, okay, thanks. Wait. Oh my gosh, aren't you that famous guy, the one who's tanked for us earlier? What are you doing here? I couldn't taste anything before I met you, but after that drink, even though it was disgusting, I could taste again. Does that mean you're my soulmate? Yes, I believe so. I finally found you! So your soulmate's famous? That's so cool! I wish I had a famous soulmate. Amara! Amara! I've called you a hundred times and you didn't hear me, I'm tired of calling oh, you. Oh, sorry, I didn't hear you, mom. I need to get your hearing sharpened. Huh? Guys, my sense of hearing is getting sharpened, so you can't whisper around me anymore. What? Seriously? Yes, it was my mom's choice. Does that mean your ears will change too? Change? What do you mean? Yeah, they're gonna look weird. Oh, look, they already did. Why are my ears so long? I feel bad for her ears. They're so long, they make her look ugly. Why are you so rude to me? Huh? I was whispering. How come you heard that? So, I can hear everything now? Is this even a good thing? I should probably give the class a sudden exam. Sir, please don't. I haven't studied yet. What? I didn't even say anything out loud. I was just thinking it. I can hear people's thoughts? Um, sorry, no, maybe I heard wrong. Well, since I got caught, I'll just cancel it. Jess, I think there's something wrong with my ears. What's wrong? I think I can hear people's thoughts. If that's true, try listening to that new guy's thoughts. Okay. So, can you hear anything? Nope, nothing at all. Those ears attract a lot of attention. Yeah, I know. My ears are different than the others. No, not because of that. You can hear people's thoughts. How did you know that? I'm gonna help you hear the new boy's thoughts. Sir, where did the new student come from? I don't know, but you have to be friends with him. You want me to be friends with him? Yes, you're good at making friends.
Plus, I want you to get some information from him. But why? It doesn't matter. Just do what I say. The school must be hiding a big problem. Hi, nice to meet you. So, you're new here, right? He won't understand you. He only talks in sign language. Yeah, I'm new here. If you want to get to know me, meet me after school. Wait, so you can talk? I know you can talk. You just pretend to be mute. I want to take you somewhere and you're going to have to listen to people's thoughts. What? No, I'm not going to listen to anyone's thoughts. Just trust me, you're not going to regret it. We have to break into this house. But this is our teacher's house. I don't want to. I could get expelled. Just do it for everyone's sake. What's wrong with this house anyway? I think there's people outside. We need to leave this place right now before we get caught. Run! No, if we run, we won't be able to hear the teacher's secrets. You listen then. I'm not trying to get caught. Just one more time, please. You won't regret it. Someone's definitely listening to our conversation. No, I can't. I need to go home. Mom, I'm home. I saw that test you hid under the bed. You got an F. You're so dumb. You don't have to shout. My ears hurt. You're lucky I don't ground you. You should be ashamed of yourself. Sis. What? Why were you outside the teacher's house listening to a conversation? Why were you there? Oh, um, he helps me with homework. Private lessons? Seriously? Isn't that weird? Nope, not at all. Why are your ears smaller than before? They are. Maybe because you're abusing them. I don't care if I lose my ears. It'll be better for me because then my friends will stop using me. Wait, wait. Wait, what do you mean? The more you use your ears, the more likely they'll disappear. That's exactly what I want. But if that happens, you'll never know what the new kid wants from you. Yeah, you're right. Did you get any information about that child? Yes, sir. Yesterday he took me to your house. Huh? To my house? No wonder I was hearing people outside. What were you guys doing? He told me to listen to your conversations, but I, I don't know why. Good. Keep reporting to me, okay? I will now announce the test results. Sarah, you got the highest grades in class. Sarah, my sister? New kid, you got the second highest. You have to go to your teacher's house again to get proof. What proof? That he's helping your sister cheat on the exam. The new kid deserves to be ranked number one in your class. Your teacher has really bad intentions. You look so beautiful today with that dress. I think the teacher's with his wife. Congratulations on being ranked number one in class today. Ranked number one? That means... Sarah, what are you doing here? What do you think? You're going out with the teacher? You should be ashamed of yourself. I have to find a new kid. Don't worry, I've already called the police and they've arrested the teacher. But how? You don't have any proof. Yesterday when you left, I installed a camera in his house, so I have all the proof that I need. You're a genius. I hope my eyes are black just like my other friends. What? Rainbow? What does that mean? Honey, put it on private. Let your friends be curious. It's more fun. Okay, mom. My eye color is black. Mine's green. What's yours, Amara? Um, they're black. But why are you wearing sunglasses? Because uh, I'm tired today. I didn't put any makeup on. Okay, well, guys, I have to go. I'm sorry. I can't be seen with you because my eyes are green. My rank is higher than yours. Why do some people have green eyes? What does that mean? Whoever has blue eyes are part of the royal family, while whoever has black eyes are just ordinary people. A part of the royal family? Yep, that's right. Why is this guy locked up like that? Because he doesn't have an eye color. So? So, for example, if you don't have an eye color, you'll be considered useless and they'll put you in prison. I have an eye color, right? Because I don't want to end up in prison like that person. Why are you wearing sunglasses anyway? Are you hiding your eye color? No, uh, my mom says I have an eye infection, so I have to wear these glasses. Are you sure you're not hiding something? Because your eye color is private. Why aren't you saying anything? No reason. Hmm. Does rainbow mean that I don't have a specific eye color? That's why my mom told me to put on these glasses, so I won't be put in prison. Hey, if I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone? Of course. I don't know if I have an eye color. I got rainbow. If you're curious, why don't you just take off your glasses? <gasps> because I'm scared. I don't want to not have an eye color. Don't worry. Just trust me. Take your glasses off. Oh my gosh. Are my eyes black? No, there. Everyone, please gather for an eye color check. Huh? An eye color check? I have an eye color, right? You do, but... If that's the case, I don't have to be scared to get checked again.
Before all examinations, please go public with your eye color. Luckily, I have an eye color, so no need to be afraid. Amara, why is it loading? <sighs> My friend just told me I have an eye color, sir, but I don't know which one yet. If you really have an eye color, please take off your glasses. Okay, I'll remove them now. I hope nothing bad happens. Take the glasses off. <sighs> okay, I'll take it off. I really hope nothing bad happens. Oh my gosh, why is your eye color? Why is my eye color what? Your eyes are not normal, they're colorful. Colorful? I finally found someone with this eye color. Officer, take her. What's happening? Shut up, don't move. Sir, why am I being detained like this? I'll leave you with this officer because I really need your eyes. They can help me. Help you with what? You're just gonna leave me with a stranger? Let me go. Shut up, you wait until me and your teacher come back. So I'm gonna be left here alone? Don't try to run away. But please. Amara, are you okay? <sighs> Emily, finally you came. Please help me untie these handcuffs. You shouldn't have went to the eye exam. Everyone's after you now. Everyone's after me? Yes, because only your eyes can see the contents of the box. What box? I'll explain later. Come with me now. Basically, your eyes have the power to see what's inside the box. People with normal eyes don't see anything when I don't understand. It. What box are you talking about? Our teacher, he always has this orange-green box in class. Do you remember it? I think so. So, do you have the box? No, but we have to get it quickly from our teacher's classroom. This is our classroom, but the box is no longer here. It was here just yesterday. It seems that the teacher has taken it to the warehouse at the time you were kidnapped. <sighs> so, what are we going to do now? He thinks you're still in the warehouse. He must have came in and took it. How are we going to get it back? Don't worry. The box is useless if people don't know what's inside. The contents can only be seen with your eyes. Wait here, I'm gonna try find it. I know where the teacher's box is. You do? Yes, I'll show you, but you have to come Okay, let's go. Emily, I'm with Olivia. She says she knows where the box is. The box is with me now. You have to run away. She's lying to you. Um, Olivia? I need to go to the bathroom. My stomach hurts. You think you can run away from me? Hey guys, she's with me. Take her. <sighs> Wait, don't! Hey, wake up. Finally, we managed to catch one of the colored-eyed people. So, what are we gonna do, boss? Look for the box. Here's the box. See what's in it and tell me. No! You wanna keep your eyes, right? I have no choice. Hurry up and open the box. Huh? Why is your face like that? What's in the box? Huh? Why is your face like that? What's in the box? It's empty. What? You're lying to me. What's in it? Tell me now. But I don't know what's in it. It's really empty. Don't lie. The box you have is the fake one, not the real one. You tricked me. Hurry up and give me the original box. If you let go of Amara, I'll give you the original box. Okay, but she's going to have to tell us what's in it first. Emily. Before I give you the box, can I have a word with Amara alone, please? Okay, hurry up. Thank you, Emily, for saving me again. No problem. Are you sure giving them the box is a good idea? We'll just give them a fake box again. You want me to lie to them? They won't even know we're lying because they can't see what's in it. Only you can. Okay, if you say so. Here you go. This is the box. Quickly, tell me what's inside. It's, um... Hurry! It's filled with diamonds. Hey, okay, now you two can go. Okay, come on, let's go, Amara. But are you sure they won't find out? It's time to wear these glasses. You're being targeted. People already know your eye color. If only I could find a girl with the colorful eyes. Excuse me, miss. Do you know where the colored girl is? No, sorry, I don't. That's a shame. If I had known, I could have caught her. Emily, we have to leave the city. What happened? <sighs> Everyone knows that the colorful eyes belong to me, so I have to leave the city immediately. It's easy then. Let's get out of the city. But what about the box? We have to get the box and take it abroad. <sighs> okay, then. Let's go get the box now. Let's go. This is the box. Just hold it. Why don't we just open it now? Why is there a helicopter here? Hey, girl with colorful eyes, we know you're there. <sighs> we have to go now, they already know we're here. They've been chasing us this whole time, let's go Amara. You think you can escape from us, huh? <sighs> Sorry, please, let us go, just this time. Give us the box, otherwise we're gonna have to take you back to the warehouse again. Amara, quickly, open the box now and tell me what's in it. Um, three wishes. Give us the box now. Amara, hurry up and make a wish. Okay, my first wish is for me to leave the city. My second wish is for me and Emily to be the richest people in the world. My third wish is for my eyes to go back to normal color. Are you sure you want to let go of your power? Yes. So, did it work? I think so. Hopefully I'll get a red heart. Mom, I got a green heart. That means your soulmate already has another girl and they love each other. 
They love each other? Just fake the colour of your heart so no one knows. And remember, never tell anyone you got green. Okay, I think this looks real, right? I don't think anyone will notice. Hey Jake, you're cheating on me, admit it! What are you talking about? Both our hearts are red! I know you're cheating, I have proof! Where? Show me! But, Mum said I can't reveal the green heart. See, you're just trying to accuse me! Yeah, you're right! Morning everyone, what's the colour of your hearts? We all got red, meaning our soulmates aren't cheating on us. So, I'm the only one who got green? Amara, you have to help me. I got a green heart. Wait, why are you so worried? People say if you get a green heart, you'll get kicked out of the school. That can't be true. Just calm down. Okay, I trust you. But what's your color? <laughs> what do you mean? It's red. It looks weird. It's a different shade of red than the others. I have to get out of here before she finds out. Hey, uh, see you in class, okay? Whoever got green, come to the front. Hurry up, otherwise I'm going to have to check myself. Sir, she has a green heart. What the heck, Amara? Sir, what did you just do? Whoever has a green heart has to die. Why would you snitch on Sarah? I don't know. I panicked and I didn't know he would kill her. He did it because the green color is considered to interfere with the happiness of the soulmate. Can we stop talking about this? We're safe. I can't help but feeling guilty. Mom, I'm home. Why do you look sad? Is it because of the Sarah incident at school? Huh? How come you know? I haven't told you yet. I heard from your friends. Anyway, it's not your fault. But remember, keep your green heart hidden. Yes, Mom, but until when? You have to hide it forever. It's weird. Amara has a red heart, but she still hasn't met her soulmate. You didn't fake your color, did you? Me? No. It would be really bad if you did. I know. I would never. Guys, don't listen to her. She's lying. She definitely faked it. Show us now. Yes, show us your mark. Gosh, Amara, the color of your heart has changed to black. Black? What does a black heart mean? A black heart means... It means that your soulmate's having unpredictable love problems. Maybe he's having troubles with his girlfriend. No, it's much worse than you think. And the black color is more targeted by our teacher. That means I have to fake my sign again so that nothing happens to me. Okay, I've changed it back to red. Hopefully no one will snitch on me. Why is it that only girls get green hearts and boys don't? Because almost no girl cheats. Girls are more loyal. What? That's not true. Anyway, what's important is you need to keep your color hidden. The teacher can't know. By the way, where did Gemma go? I don't know. She said she was going to go and speak with the teacher. A teacher? Someone told me that there's a person with a black heart in the school. Who told you, sir? It doesn't matter, but a black heart is really dangerous. We have to catch them. What if the teacher finds out it's me and he kills me? Who will save my soulmate then? Amara, you have to get out of the school before anyone finds out because you're being targeted. But why? I love school. I'm only saying this because I'm your friend. Why is the police here? They found more people with green hearts, so they're here to capture them. I need to get out of here before it's too late. Why are you always late? I'm so hungry. Sorry, babe. I was busy with something. Since you're late, you have to pay for my food. You want me to pay for your food? You cheated on me and you still haven't admitted it. How have I cheated? We both have red hearts. That's true. This means he's not my soulmate. You know what? I don't love you anymore. I'm breaking up with you. Amara, wait. So, I'm the only one in town with a black heart? I have to find my soulmate before it's too late. Things can get worse. Honey, get ready. We're going to have guests over. Who's coming? You'll see. Can you get that? What's up, Emily? Amara, come with me. You can't be in your house. Why can't I be in my house? What's wrong? I know the location of your soulmate. He's in danger. We have to hurry up and go. How do you know? I'll tell you later. Amara, come in. The guests are already here guests i'm sorry i can't come with you we have guests wait amara this is who i wanted to introduce you to sir what are you doing at my house are my grades that bad no i want to take you out for a walk why is the color of the teacher's heart also black it's the same color as mine you're going on a vacation with the teacher for three days a vacation with my teacher three two one are you safe yeah, I'm safe. How far is your danger? 300,000 miles away. Oh, so you have nothing to worry about then. 
Honey, please make sure you lock all the doors and all the windows when I'm Mom, gone. Mom, relax. The danger's literally so far away. Aren't you scared? No, why would I be? The danger's like on the other side of the world. You do know that the danger's only purpose is to yeah, find Yeah, so? You. I'm not gonna walk around worrying about it all day. Looks like someone's going the wrong way. Amara, have you heard? Emily's danger found her. She's gone. What do you mean, gone? I mean gone as in forever. Damn. How did he get so close that fast? No way he actually did that to her. That's actually so funny. Are you okay? Amara, what's wrong? Amara, what's wrong? Nothing. Are you sure? You look a little pale. They're in the same town as me. What? Who's in the same town as no me? No one. I need to go. Honey, why are you locking all the doors? Just in case anything bad happens. Why do you say that? Is your danger closed? No, mom, just please. Leave all the doors closed. Okay, come on, dinner's on the table. I don't really feel like eating right now. Why not? You're always excited for dinner. I'm kind of tired. I'm just going to go to my room. Good night, honey. Love you. Love you too, Mom. Mom, what time is it? It's 6 a.m. Why are you up so early? No reason. I just couldn't sleep. I can't believe I actually made it through the night. Okay, class. I hope you're all ready for the test. Miss, can I go to the bathroom? Attention everyone, please evacuate the school immediately. Please evacuate the school immediately. This is all my fault. Can Amara please make way to the head office? Nope, I'm staying here in the bathroom. There is no way I'm going anywhere. Whoever still haven't evacuated the school, you can come out now. It's safe. So it worked. All I had to do was hide. Amara, where were you? Are you okay? I'm fine. I was just hiding in the bathroom. I was looking everywhere for you. I thought you were in danger. Oh no, I'm fine. Honey, I'm so glad you're okay. I heard what happened. Apparently someone's danger came to the school. Oh yeah, but they didn't stay for long. I don't think they found the person they were looking for. Mom, where's Liam? Wasn't he supposed to be back from his trip today? Oh, your brother? He'll be here soon. Honey, please open the door. I think Liam's here. Do not open the door. Honey, why are you scared? Mom, just please don't. You can't let him in. I'm not going to leave your brother out in the cold. Wait. Amara, did you miss me? Why do you look so scared? It's not like I'm your danger. Mom, I'm tired. Can I just go to my room? Yes, of course you can, honey. I know this might sound crazy, but I think my brother's trying to kill me. Why do you think so? Because my danger says zero miles away and it happened as soon as he got here. There has to be another explanation. Just try to get some sleep. Make sure your door is closed. I will. Honey, you can come downstairs. Everyone's gone. Is Liam gone too? Yes. Why are you so scared of him anyway? I'm just going to go to sleep, okay? This is so confusing. Mom? Mom's not here, but I am. Mom? Your mom's not here, but I am. Are you gonna kill me? No, I'm not gonna kill you. What do you mean? Isn't that like your whole purpose? I'm not gonna kill you, at least not for now. I'm gonna keep you around for a bit. What does that even mean? Listen to me carefully. You can't tell anyone that you saw me, okay? Otherwise you'll regret So you're expecting me to act like nothing happened? Exactly. Just keep your mouth shut and I won't hurt you. Okay. Hey Amara, can you stay after class please? I need to speak to you. Okay, sure. So, what did you want to talk to me about? I'm just making sure you're okay. You don't seem like yourself. Yeah, I'm okay. Are you sure? Did your danger find what? you? What? Why would you say that? You know you can talk to me, right? I'm not going to tell yeah, anyone. Yeah, I need to go. That's so weird. How did she know? Amara, get in the car now. What? Why are you picking me up? My mom's going to wonder where I am. Don't worry. Your mom knows exactly where you are. Where are you taking me? There's something I need you to do for me. What is it? I need you to become a danger. Wait, what? I need a partner and I thought you'd be the perfect Is that partner. like impossible? Of course it's possible and you're going to do it. Out of everyone, why do you want me to be a danger? Because deep down me and you are the same. You just don't know it yet. No, we're nothing alike. Stop talking. Now you're officially a danger. The thing with a bunch of numbers shows how far away the person you need to get is. It looks like we're getting closer. We're here. Perfect. Now get out of the car. Wait, this is my best friend's house. I'm sorry, I can't do this. You don't have a choice. Amara, how did you get in? Are you okay? I'm so sorry for this. I hope my eyes are black just like my other friends. 
What? Rainbow? What does that mean? Honey, put it on private. Let your friends be curious. It's more fun. Okay, Mom. My eye color is black. Mine's green. What's yours, Amara? Um, the black. But why are you wearing sunglasses? Because uh, I'm tired today. I didn't put any makeup on. Okay, well, guys, I have to go. I'm sorry. I can't be seen with you because my eyes are green. My rank is higher than yours. Why do some people have green eyes? What does that mean? Whoever has blue eyes are part of the royal family, while whoever has black eyes are just ordinary people. A part of the royal family? Yep, that's right. Why is this guy locked up like that? Because he doesn't have an eye color. So? So, for example, if you don't have an eye color, you'll be considered useless and they'll put you in prison. I have an eye color, right? Because I don't want to end up in prison like that person. Why are you wearing sunglasses anyway? Are you hiding your eye color? No, uh, my mom says I have an eye infection, so I have to wear these glasses. Are you sure you're not hiding something? Because your eye color is private. Why aren't you saying anything? No reason. Hmm. Does rainbow mean that I don't have a specific eye color? That's why my mom told me to put on these glasses, so I won't be put in prison. Hey, if I tell you something, do you promise not to tell anyone? Of course. I don't know if I have an eye color. I got rainbow. If you're curious, why don't you just take off your glasses? <gasps> because I'm scared. I don't want to not have an eye color. Don't worry, just trust me. Take your glasses off. Oh my gosh. Are my eyes black? No, there. Everyone, please gather for an eye color check. Huh? An eye color check? I have an eye color, right? You do, but... If that's the case, I don't have to be scared to get checked again. Before all examinations, please go public with your eye color. Luckily, I have an eye color, so no need to be afraid. Amara, why is it loading? <sighs> My friend just told me I have an eye color, sir, but I don't know which one yet. If you really have an eye color, please take off your glasses. Okay, glasses. I'll remove them now. I hope nothing bad happens. Take the glasses off. <sighs> okay, I'll take it off. I really hope nothing bad happens. Oh my gosh, why is your eye color? Why is my eye color what? Your eyes are not normal, they're colorful. Colorful? I finally found someone with this eye color. Officer, take her. What's happening? Shut up, don't move. Sir, why am I being detained like this? I'll leave you with this officer because I really need your eyes. They can help me. Help you with what? You're just gonna leave me with a stranger? Let me go. Shut up, you wait until me and your teacher come back. So I'm gonna be left here alone? Don't try to run away. But please! Amara, are you okay? <sighs> Emily, finally you came. Please help me untie these handcuffs. You shouldn't have went to the eye exam. Everyone's after you now. Everyone's after me? Yes, because only your eyes can see the contents of the box. What box? I'll explain later. Come with me now. Basically, your eyes have the power to see what's inside the box. People with normal eyes don't see anything when I don't understand. It. What box are you talking about? Our teacher, he always has this orange-green box in class. Do you remember it? I think so. So, do you have the box? No, but we have to get it quickly from our teacher's classroom. This is our classroom, but the box is no longer here. It was here just yesterday. It seems that the teacher has taken it to the warehouse at the time you were kidnapped. <sighs> so, what are we going to do now? He thinks you're still in the warehouse. He must have came in and took it. How are we going to get it back? Don't worry. The box is useless if people don't know what's inside. The contents can only be seen with your eyes. Wait here, I'm gonna try find it. I know where the teacher's box is. You do? Yes, I'll show you, but you have to come Okay, let's go. Emily, I'm with Olivia. She says she knows where the box is. The box is with me now. You have to run away. She's lying to you. Um, Olivia? I need to go to the bathroom. My stomach hurts. You think you can run away from me? Hey guys, she's with me. Take her. <sighs> Wait, don't! Hey, wake up. Finally, we managed to catch one of the colored-eyed people. So, what are we gonna do, boss? Look for the box. Here's the box. See what's in it and tell me. No! You wanna keep your eyes, right? I have no choice. Hurry up and open the box. Huh? Why is your face like that? What's in the box? Huh? Why is your face like that? What's in the box? It's empty. What? You're lying to me. What's in it? Tell me now. But I don't know what's in it. It's really empty. Don't lie. The box you have is the fake one, not the real one. You tricked me. Hurry up and give me the original box. If you let go of Amara, I'll give you the original box. Okay, but she's going to have to tell us what's in it first. Emily. Before I give you the box, can I have a word with Amara alone, please? Okay, hurry up. Thank you, Emily, for saving me again. No problem. Are you sure giving them the box is a good idea? We'll just give them a fake box again. You want me to lie to them? They won't even know we're lying because they can't see what's in it. Only you can. Okay, if you say so. Here you go. This is the box. 
quickly. Tell me what's inside. It's, um... Hurry! It's filled with diamonds. Hey, okay, now you two can go. Okay, come on, let's go, Amara. But are you sure they won't find out? It's time to wear these glasses. You're being targeted. People already know your eye color. If only I could find a girl with the colorful eyes. Excuse me, miss. Do you know where the colored girl is? No, sorry, I don't. That's a shame. If I had known, I could have caught her. Emily, we have to leave the city. What happened? Everyone knows that the colorful eyes belong to me, so I have to leave the city immediately. It's easy then. Let's get out of the city. But what about the box? We have to get the box and take it abroad. Okay then, let's go get the box now. Let's go. This is the box. Just hold it. Why don't we just open it now? Why is there a helicopter here? Hey, girl with colorful eyes, we know you're there. We have to go now. They already know we're here. They've been chasing us this whole time. Let's go, Amara. You think you can escape from us, huh? <sighs> Sorry, please. Let us go just this time. Give us the box. Otherwise, we're going to have to take you back to the warehouse again. Amara, quickly, open the box now and tell me what's in it. Um, three wishes. Give us the box now. Amara, hurry up and make a wish. Okay, my first wish is for me to leave the city. My second wish is for me and Emily to be the richest people in the world. My third wish is for my eyes to go back to normal color. Are you sure you want to let go of your power? Yes. So, did it work? I think so. What color did I get on my lips? I'm curious. Huh? Pale? Why are my lips pale, mom? That means you don't have a soulmate, honey. I don't have a soulmate? That means I'm never gonna get married. Calm down, you can just pretend with this lipstick. Here, use it. Okay. Does it look real? Yes. Okay, I'm gonna go to school now. Hi guys, what color are your lips? Yellow, which means my soulmate's cruel. Mine's red, which means my soulmate's perfect. I also got red. I can't wait to meet my soulmate. Calm down, we haven't went through any obstacles yet. What do you mean? You'll see. I have to reapply my lipstick. It's starting to fade away. What are you doing? This is strictly forbidden. It can cover the true color that we received on our lips today. Hey, let me throw it away for you. No, don't. My lips are too pale. So you faked your color? Shh. Don't tell anyone. Oh, your lip color looks really good, Amara. Yes, it really does, sir. My lips are naturally red. But you're in class. You're required to wear a mask. Class, those of you who didn't bring a mask, please take one off my table. What if my lipstick comes off with this mask? Everyone's going to know that I'm lying. Put on the mask. Okay, sir. Psst. You have to go to the bathroom and put on this lipstick. But what's the difference between this one and the one I was wearing earlier? This one's permanent, so it won't come off with the mask. That's great. Thank you so much. Sir, can I go to the bathroom? Oh my gosh, why does this look weird? But, oh well, if it's permanent, then no one's going to know that I'm lying. Let's hope this works. Why does my lips feel weird out of a sudden? Okay, class is over. It's time for you to take your masks off. I really hope that lipstick was permanent. Amara, take off your mask. Okay, sir. Amara, please take off your mask. Okay, sir. I'm so dead. Whoa, your lips are so red. This means your soulmate's perfect. I'm proud to have a student like you in my class. Thank God he didn't find out I faked my lip color. Thank you so much. You saved me from getting caught by the teacher and now I finally have a lip color. Of course, we always help each other out, right? Yeah, but how come you never show your lip color to anyone? Um, I'm a bit hungry. Do you want to get food from the cafeteria? Why is she changing the subject? Amara, I bought you a drink. Please come on a date with me. I'll take you to a restaurant. Hey, I bought you a teddy bear. Wait, wait, why are all the boys being so nice to me? It's because of your lip color. They all want to be your soulmate because your soulmate's perfect. I can't believe so many people have a crush on me. Actually, I still don't believe your lip color is original. What else do I have to do to prove it, sir? Try wiping your lips with this tissue. Why is it so wet and smelly? Just do it. Okay. See, nothing came off. I told you I didn't fake it. This means your lips are real. I'm amazed. Don't you feel there's something strange about the teacher's behavior? No, why are you so suspicious of him? He's just acting weird. Don't worry, I'm sure it's nothing. Anyway, I'm gonna go look for my soulmate. Bye! Amara, wait! Your lips, they changed color. What? Oh gosh, why are they black? I don't think you should meet your soulmate. Why not? You'll be in danger, because... Why not? 
you'll be in danger because the black color represents cruelty, death, and endless torture. What? That's so scary. But you have to be careful. Here, use the lipstick I gave you again. Okay. Luckily, I can cover the black with this lipstick. Sir, I want to confess one thing. It must be about the color of your lips. Actually... Oh my gosh, why did your lips turn black? I think it's because of the lipstick that Emma gave me, sir. That means now your soulmate's dead. Huh? Emma, this is all your fault. My lips turned black because of the lipstick you gave me. Uh, what are you talking about? You took off your mask? Your lips are red? Yes, it means my soulmate's perfect. Gosh, look at her black lips. It's better if we just run away now. I hope she isn't my soulmate. Thank God mom is calling me. I heard the color of your lips are black, is that true? Yes, mom, it is. From now on, you can't live here anymore. You have to live independently, okay? I can't believe it. This is all Emma's fault. Sir, why are you laughing? It wasn't the lipstick that made your lips black. It was the wet tissue I gave you. Emma helped me with all of this because she used to have black lips. And after you used that tissue, her lip color got transferred to yours and yours to hers. I'm really sorry, Amara. You're my best friend. I should have never done that to you. How is your sorry going to help with anything? It does help because I'm going to transfer the lip color back to you. Wait, you don't have to do this. People will disappear every time you sneeze or blink. I hate people, so blink. That way they can disappear quicker. Let's see how many people are left. 10,000? Whoa, looks like there's a lot of people living in this small town. I have to get rid of them quick. That way I can have this whole town for myself. Honey, what are you doing? I'm trying to get rid of everyone as quick as I can, mom. What? So you're the one who got that option? Yeah, why are you shocked? Don't tell anyone and please be careful. <sighs> don't worry, mom. I'm gonna make sure you don't disappear. You can't control who disappears because it happens randomly. What? Hey, bestie. Hey, um, can I just ask, how many times does a person blink per day? 20,000 times. That means everyone's gonna disappear today. Why are you no, asking? No, um, it's nothing. Okay, anyway, what I was gonna tell you was... Wait, did she just disappear? Be careful, I had the person responsible for everyone's disappearances in the school. How do you know that? It doesn't matter, you have to help us catch that person so we don't disappear. We don't have much time. Okay, class, I'm sure you all heard about the rumor. Sir, but, um, what if it's fake? It's not fake, we all have to work together to find whoever's responsible for this. Yes, we have to kill them. How are you gonna find them? It's easy, we're just gonna have to test everyone. Whenever someone blinks and another person disappears, that means it's them. Okay, it's your turn, Amara. Please blink. Why aren't you blinking? I'm gonna get caught. I have to blink fast so that everyone disappears before they kill me. I feel so lonely. Now I have to live alone, eat alone, and sleep alone. It's so boring. Wait, there's still some people left? Yes, I have to find them. <coughs> I just heard something. I think it's coming from that house. Okay, I can't blink anymore, otherwise I'll stay on this earth alone forever. Finally, Amara's here. How do you know my name? Finally, Amara's here. How do you know my name? I want to thank you because you eliminated everyone. What do you mean? Now, the world can be mine. Your power doesn't work on me, it's useless. What? All I wanted was to live alone and be independent. I didn't want to mess up the world like this. Oh yeah, there's still three people left. Me, that guy, and I still need to find one more person. Hello, is anyone there? This is useless. I'm never going to find them. What do you mean? Isn't it just me and you left? Who are you looking for? Um, no one. I'm just bored. Okay, you're going to be my assistant for when I rule the world. Assistant? This guy is crazy. Yes, do you have a problem with that? No, not at all. At least my house is still here. I can't believe I made my mom disappear. Wait, she left a note. With an address? Maybe it's a clue. Okay, I'm here at the address. Hello. Yes, I found you. Can you please help me save the world? We can't fight that guy. He's too powerful, but I can help you bring everyone back to this world. Wait, how are you doing that? Why did the numbers get stuck? It's because you blinked, so they disappeared again. Okay, I have to stop blinking from now on. Turns out there's still some people left.
<laughs> what are you doing? Now the world will be mine. Are you gonna kill me too? No, I'm not. You're valuable. What am I gonna do now? There's one more thing you can try. Try blink three times, he should disappear. <gasps> it worked! So, what now? You have to sleep. That way I can bring everyone back to this world. Okay, in that case, I'm gonna sleep now. I hope I get the crown symbol so I can live in the palace and marry the prince. Huh? An upside down crown? I thought there was only two symbols, a crown and a leaf. How did I get an upside down crown? Mom, there's something wrong with my symbol. What? Upside down crown? That means you're the enemy of the palace. What? Yeah, cover up quickly before anyone sees it. Why did I get the symbol? Why couldn't they just give me an ordinary crown? Oh look, you got the leaf symbol just like everyone else. And I see you got the crown symbol. Congrats. Thanks. If I marry the prince, I'll invite you. See you later. I swear the system has an error. How can an arrogant person like Nancy get the crown symbol? You really think it's good to live in the palace? Yeah, why wouldn't it be? Those who got the crown symbol will be forced to marry the king who's already had 12 wives in the past. And what's worse is that they can't refuse it. Marry the king? That's crazy. Isn't he like in his 80s or something? And if that was true, why is everyone competing to get the crown symbol? That's because they don't know what's actually going on in the palace. How do you know? You have a leaf symbol. Because I used to live there. How did you live in the palace with that symbol? Believe it or not, my original symbol was. Hurry up, everyone with a leaf symbol has to get to class. From now on, everyone with a leaf symbol has to stay in this class. But this class is so full, there's barely enough space for everyone. I'm getting claustrophobic. Oh my gosh, this is your new class. Oh, ew, what's that smell? Why is there so many people here? Why are you here, Nancy? I thought you'd already be on the way to the palace by now. None of your business. Those with leaf signs are only allowed to eat yogurt. You're not allowed to eat anything containing meat. What? But why? I was just about to buy a hamburger. Oh, sorry you can't eat any meat. Hey, you can have my burger. But just to let you know, I've spat on it. Hey, Nancy, don't talk to people with leaf symbols. Sorry, sir, I was just saying hi to my old friend. Hey, Aiden, can you believe it? There's more than two symbols. How do you know? Come with me to the girls' toilet. Are you insane? I'm a guy. I'm not going to go to the girls' toilet. Just come. I want to show you my symbol. Hurry up. I can't be seen in here. Here, see. This is my original symbol. Upside down crown. Do you know what it means? <gasps> An upside down crown? That means you... And that means you're the kingdom's huh? greatest enemy. How comes your answer's exactly like my mother's? That means she wasn't lying. You don't trust your own mother? I mean, only sometimes, because usually my family gives me money and she says she's gonna hold it for me, but she uses it on school fees. Do you even know anything about symbols? I used to read in my grandpa's history book. He said everyone that got the upside down crown must take the king's throne. <sighs> What? Steal the king's throne? Are you crazy? Don't make things up, Aiden. It's really bad, and if in three days you don't take the king's crown, you're going to die. That's what's written in the book. I'm gonna die in three days? No, I don't believe you. I need proof. Where's the proof? You want proof? Come with me tonight. We're going to the grave. To the grave at night? Are you insane? We're going to find my grandpa's history book. I hid it in the grave. Why are we walking towards the palace anyways? When are we going to your grandpa's grave? My grandpa's buried at the palace. Buried at the palace? I thought only royals were buried at the palace. Um, to be honest, this is my symbol. Adrian, your symbol's a crown. Why didn't you tell me earlier? Shh, don't speak too loud. I'll tell you later, but for now, let's find a safe place. Your symbol only showed when you turned 17, right? My symbol was there my whole life because my dad was king. Oh, so you're the son of the previous king. You're a prince then. Yes, the current king has an upside down crown, just like so you. So, he was the one who killed your dad? Yes, he killed him the day he found out by his symbol. He killed my mom too, because she refused to be his wife. But, how come none of this is in the news? Yes, because things like this are common in the palace. Seize the throne, share the wife. Wow, all this time I thought royals had the perfect life. But wait, why does this symbol even exist? If the upside down crown didn't exist, the world would have been much safer and no one would fight over the throne. Okay, I've decided to take the king's throne. Are you sure? Yes, and besides, I don't even want the throne like that. I just don't want to die. You're the one who said I have three days. Yes, that's right. Okay, if that's the case, I'll show you the secret passage to the palace. Without the gods seeing you. Oh yeah, here's a weapon for you. It's poison. Why did you give me this? Oh, so that you can...